Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. System memory upgrade on our Acer Aspire E15 $350 laptop computer. I've previously done a review of this computer, link to that in the video description below, as well as a link to the first boot Windows update, Windows performance review, and some game performance videos on this computer. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade the system RAM. In fact, I have two different memory sticks here. I'll talk about those briefly. I also have an M2 solid state drive, which I will also mention because I talked about it in the very first unboxing and review of this laptop. The first thing you're going to need is a screwdriver. I have two different screwdrivers here, a small standard size Phillips and then a very small Phillips that came in my Vision Tech computer part kit. I will put a link to this kit in the video description below. It's available on Amazon and Newegg for about $20 to $25. It comes with a variety of different parts that are really handy if you're working on a computer. However, you can use a standard screwdriver if the end of it is small enough. And when we turn this over, you'll see what I mean. A full-size Phillips would be too large for this. So we are going to turn the laptop over to show you the back of it. And when I turn the laptop over, you will see an outline of a cover on the back. There are no stickers covering this. There's no blocks. I didn't take anything off. You absolutely can open this to upgrade or make changes to your computer, at least for what's under there. Now, if you take a standard screwdriver and you put it in one of these three holes, it does fit into the screw, but you need to be very careful. That is a fairly large Phillips head for that very small screw. Instead, I'm going to use my very small screwdriver, and these will come out very easily with no risk of stripping the screw. There are three screws that you need to take out. There we go. One nice thing is having magnetic heads to pull these out. We'll set our screws aside and we'll unscrew that one. There's that. We'll just set that aside. So the three deep screw holes that are inside this panel are what we want to take out. And we have that screw out. So, oops, I dropped my screwdriver. With the screws out of the way, the only thing you have to do is look for this corner. There's a small indentation designed for you to put your finger or your thumb in. This is held in place with snaps. All you have to do is put your thumb in and just pry it open along the top and it comes right off. When we take the cover off, you will notice that there are some different shaped plastic tabs along the bottom. That comes off last. And when we put it back on, we'll insert those tabs in the bottom first and then put it down just like so. But for now, we'll set our cover aside and take a look inside of our computer. There's really only three things in here to look at. The first is our RAM slots. This is the existing four gigabytes of system RAM provided with the computer. There is an empty slot we're gonna install more RAM into. This is the one terabyte hard drive that has all of your data on it. This is uh, Windows, your files, your programs, your data, all that is on the one terabyte, two and a half inch hard drive right here. This is where the M2 slot is. Now, I mentioned this in the original review of this. And for this, I do owe everybody who watched that review a small apology. Acer did not provide the standoff screws necessary to install an M2 solid state drive. This is the very first laptop I've ever come across that does not have a standoff uh, installed here and a screw. I have called Acer on the phone and spoken to two different people there and they simply do not send the screws out. The only option they offer is to send the laptop to them and then they will put the screw in, which to me seems to be a bit ridiculous. Now, there are reports that some people on Amazon are getting these laptops with the screw in place, with the standoff in place. Mine did not come with one. However, if you look at the uh, questions in the, in the feedback section of this laptop on Amazon, some people got it, some people didn't. It's luck of the draw. So if installing an M2 drive is important to you, then I can't recommend this laptop because you may or may not get the proper screw. And what I was originally going to install in here was a 275 gigabyte solid state drive because then you get to keep the one terabyte drive and I can't do that. So I'm gonna put that aside. I will briefly mention that you do have the option to remove the one terabyte hard drive and install a standard two and a half inch solid state drive, but I don't recommend it. If you were going to do that, just buy the slightly more expensive version of this laptop, the i5 version, which is 500, which comes with the solid state drive already in place, and it already comes with the eight gigabytes of RAM, 
and it's got a faster processor. So if that's important to you, then I would skip this and get that. If you don't care and you're okay with the one terabyte hard drive, then this machine is fine. Now, moving on to the RAM, which is what this video is all about. We have got an eight gigabyte stick of RAM here and a four gigabyte stick of RAM here. The choice is entirely yours. You can install either one of them. If you install the four, you'll have a total of eight. If you install the eight, you'll have a total of 12. How much RAM you install depends upon what you plan to do with the computer. If you're just doing light work, eight is plenty. If you want to do a lot of multitasking, if you want to be able to open more programs without running into memory limitations, then by all means get the eight gigabytes. I think most people are fine with four. Now, four gigabytes of RAM for a computer such as this is generally gonna cost you about $25. Eight gigabytes of RAM is gonna cost you $45, so $20 extra to get 12 total instead of eight, the choice is entirely yours. I am going to put the four gigabyte aside and I'm going to install the eight because I like to open lots of programs. So linked in the video description below will be both options, both the four and the eight gigabyte. The choice is yours. These memory sticks, let me take it out of the package. There we go. This comes in plastic, just like so. There's two tabs on either side. All you have to do is bend the plastic back just a bit, being careful not to bend the memory module and it should snap right out. There we go. Now let's take a look at our memory module. This is an eight gigabyte DDR4 or double data rate version four memory. This laptop will not take DDR3 memory. So if you have older DDR3 memory, don't even try, it won't work. The notch in the center here is not in the center. It is offset slightly. This is designed so you can only install it in the correct orientation. And if you look at the slot on the actual laptop itself, you'll see that the notch is actually offset as well. And if I lay it here, you'll see that that is backwards. I do have it label side up, but it's actually going to be installed like that. I turn it over, insert the memory at an angle and then push down and it mounts in place. Yes, it really is that easy. In the original review of this laptop, I said it takes two minutes to install. Frankly, it does. It takes longer to get the cover off and to line it up than it does to install it. Now I'm gonna show that to you again in a different angle just so you can see the difference. To remove the memory if you ever need to, there are two catches on either side. All you have to do is push those sideways. I'm pushing out in this direction and the memory pops up automatically just like that and it just slides out, no force required. Now I'm going to tilt the laptop on its side so that you can see the memory going in at an angle. So you can see, and look, it just takes one finger. There's no pressure there. And when I push it down, that's all it takes. Please note, when this gets inserted, and I'll take it, I'm gonna show this to you a couple times to make sure that it's absolutely clear. These golden fingers, that's what we call them anyway, these are golden fingers. When I insert the memory at an angle, and I, I am inserting it at an angle, it's not flat, it's not straight up and down, about a 30 degree angle. Do you see how the golden fingers are completely obscured? They're covered by the black plastic slot, but the memory is not installed. And if I tilt it up, you'll see it's still up and it will rest like that. So as I put it in, it just sets just like that and then just like that. Now, if you wanted 16 gigabytes in this laptop, you could replace the existing four gigabyte memory module with a second eight. But if you're going to do that, I wouldn't buy this laptop. Even 12 is unnecessary for many people, but it's fine. It's a, it's a good balance between eight and 16. But if you really plan to take out a perfectly good memory stick to install 16 gigabytes, you might wanna buy more laptop computer. And I will reinstall the four and we're done. At this point, all we have to do is reinstall the cover. I will take the cover, take a look at these notches along the bottom, insert those into the bottom of the laptop. And as, as I bring it down, I'll start around one side and I'm just pushing down on the snaps and I'll just run my fingers around it to make sure all the snaps are in place. And then I will take my screwdriver and just replace the three screws. And that is all there is to upgrading the RAM 
in your Acer Aspire E15 laptop. It took much longer to explain it than it would to do it. But for those of you who have never done this before and may feel a little bit of unease in taking off the panel and inserting a memory card such as this, it really is that simple. Uh, you simply, there's no force required. Insert it, push it down, it should click right into place. Just make sure that you have DDR4, not DDR3. And uh, the links to both of those will be in the video description below. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button down below the video. Leave your questions, comments, and feedback in the comment section below. And as always, check out the video description, links to Amazon.com for this laptop computer, links to Amazon and Newegg for the system RAM that I just described to you, and links to my full list of videos on this computer on YouTube will be in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.